I'm gonna kiss you now. Either way, Calvin, give me the screen. I'm trying to kiss you. I wanna come up. How embarrassing. Uh. What's going on, everybody? My name's Angelo. My name's Calvin. We are the Vision Twins, and we lost a combined 300 pounds. Now it's our life mission to show you how to do the same, same thing. In today's video, we are going to be discussing our most embarrassing stories of all time only because we were overweight. Growing up, we were extremely overweight, and there were a lot of things that we couldn't do just because we were big. From going to the water park and being embarrassed to take our shirt off, to asking our friends for their extra food, getting denied for prom. We're going to explain what exactly we were talking about right now, guys. Before we even get started on the video, make sure you guys go shop visiontwins.com, use promo code MYVISION, and get yourself 20% off at checkout. Let's get into the video. Our most embarrassing stories from being overweight is gonna go in chronological order, starting back in kindergarten. I'll go ahead and take this one off first. I remember in kindergarten being out at lunchtime. I don't know, for some reason, everybody only got one plate. Guys, growing up, we had a single parent. Dad wasn't in the picture at the time. Ate whatever the school would provide. That's what we did because mother was working, father was twerk, doing the twerk. twerk. Going back to kindergarten, I remember we got a plate and served tater tots that day. Pizza and tater tots. Everybody's sitting at the tables talking, all the kids are going. I just went back and I grabbed the second box of tater tots. You guys know the tater tots oh, look like you this. You went and grabbed two? I, <laughs> went and and I put them. And I opened them up and I put them in my pocket. I put them in my 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 school pocket. So we had we went to a charter school. <laughs> Teacher was like, "What are you doing?" And I remember like just looking back, like I'm just gonna keep going. So I keep going. He starts to run after me. I just start booking it. I sprint. Oh, no. I start sprinting at the school. When was this? It was in kindergarten. I remember going to the principal's office in kindergarten because <laughs> I tried stealing tater tots. All jokes aside, that's like traumatic. But my part is a little less extreme than that, although I was running when it happened. So in preschool, we had this lunch lady. I think her name was Miss Soto. One day, we got mac and cheese and chicken nuggets. The little small side would be like aluminum foil and it had chicken nuggets. The other side had mac and cheese. What I had did, I saw someone threw away the mac and cheese part. I went to the trash can, broke open the plastic, started digging my fingers in. Eating it with his fingers. Enzo was the type to eat with his hands. Like, yeah, and I knew it was bad. I knew I shouldn't have been doing it, especially since I would have gotten in trouble at home. Yeah. But when I did it at school, it was like, I'm away from home. I can eat more than I usually do. That's like your first instance of like bad relationship with bad food. Bad relationship with food, eating out the trash. What happened is that the lady came near me and she's like, Angela, what are you doing? And I like looked up and like, Call. And I never heard anything about it. I didn't get in trouble for eating extra food. Went about my day. Yeah. Like, imagine being a preschool teacher, seeing this little kid eating out the trash can, and he's like, damn, like, what the fuck? Kids What's are... wrong with this kid? I don't know. That was my first instance being embarrassed while being overweight. That's crazy. Preschool, you're what, three, four years old? Why was I eating more? Dad. Our most embarrassing stories from when we were in elementary or middle school. I have one that's very embarrassing. We were playing like some sport in PE. It was after class, and I was running through the basketball courts. And just so happened to be these like perfect benches where kids would eat their lunch at. The great great grandfather owner of the school built these wooden benches himself. So what I did was we were running in our game and I wanted to be like a skinny kid for a second. In my mind, I forgot like, yo, you're too big to be doing this. I ran and jumped on the table. Ka -ka boom! Everything comes down. I eat shit and I get up like, oh, that was cool. I probably like broke my wrist or something. I turn around, everybody's like standing around laughing like, oh! And I think that's an instance where, where people weren't necessarily laughing with us, were like, they were laughing at it you. It was hard, yeah. That was like the first you. time I ever got really laughed at because everybody would always look over the fact that we were kind of fat. So that was my second situation of being embarrassed while being overweight slash obese. So looking back, y'all, in middle school, my mom would actually let me skate to school and would drive with Angela on the way to school. Like they'd pass me, say hi, and then I'd get to school like 20, 30 minutes later. And I remember I tried alling up this curb and I completely oh, missed man. it, slipped off, and I ripped my pants. Did the complete split. Wait, wait, where'd like, you rip your pants? I'm right like under my ass crack. So I continued to skate to school and there was really nothing that I could do about it all day. I kind of tried to hide it. I think I ended up getting a pair of shorts from the ASB teacher later on. Probably way too small because he was still bigger than yeah. the fit though. Up until like lunchtime when it was too obvious. How embarrassing. Um, so yeah, I kind of had to go the whole day without letting anybody see me. So going into high school, yo, I got rejected to prom, yo. It was the hardest thing I ever had to take in. It was the hardest thing I ever had to take in. It really gave me the uh, the outlook of, okay, dang, I'm big. Like, she's going with a smaller guy probably. But anyway, right after Spanish class one day, went outside and, like, I asked her and made it a big thing. And 
We went on and did our own thing for the day. The week before prom, she said, nah, like I'm not going. Oh, that hurts, man. That hurts. She had everybody looking like, oh, you're going with her, you're going with her. That was tough right there. They ask you how you are, you just say that you're fine. You're not really fine. So my most embarrassing story from high school is probably not as embarrassing as most people think, but to me, it really hurt at the time. And what the person said was really crossed the line. It affected me long-term and pushed me to be a better person and to exercise more. Keep trying harder and always have this thing in the back of my mind like, yeah, that person said that. My senior year of high school, one kid said if I ever end up fatter than the Vision Twins, but we weren't the Vision Twins at the time. If I ever end up fatter than the Sanders Twins, shoot me dead. He was saying that amongst our friends. So it kind of hurt. This dude was pretty big, but obviously we were bigger than him. But we were just probably like a good 40 pounds heavier than him. So to be known as like the really fat kids and knowing that that's like your highest that you'll ever be recognized as, there's nothing else besides just what you look like. And from there, that really just hurt, but it pushed me to be a better person and to work harder. So from that moment on, I just remember grinding. I'm gonna end up being less than this dude. And even being less than that dude was probably like a fantasy because he was like 280 pounds. And from that moment on, I decided I will do my best to never ever make fun of somebody to the point of like things that they can't control. In general, making fun of people that things that really hurt them specifically. Trust us, we do have a lot more embarrassing stories, but we just wanted to make this video and lay down the land of the law and give you guys a little insight on how we grew up being overweight. Being overweight growing up was a big struggle and we have tons of stories to go through. Stay tuned guys because the next video we'll be talking about is our adulthood life from 17 to now. So we are very excited to give that to you guys, but make sure before you guys go to use promo code MYVISION at, at checkout, we will give you 20% <laughs> off. Go support Talk the twins. Vision Gaming coming soon. Vision Fam going to the top. Keep losing weight. Keep grinding. Don't wait. Lose weight. You got the kings right here. Have we a great, here. amazing, beautiful day. And if you don't, I'm gonna kiss you now. Either way, Calvin, give me the screen. I'm trying to kiss him. Come on. Wait, whoa, 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 Calvin, stop. stop. And right there, and right there.